Ooh, welcome back to the channel. What's up, boys? How we doing? We got a new mic, so let me know, you know, how the audio sounds, if it sounds different at all. But we have a lineup update today. Wasn't able to finish Weekend League. I got to study for some exams later. I got an exam tomorrow, right before the Bills game. How shitty is that, right? If you guys weren't in stream last night, uh, you know, Father Jacques over there, we've actually been playing really good lately. Our record is like 11 and 3 right now. Like I said, I can't finish Weekend League, but we made some tweaks to our lineup, so I'm going to go through that, you know, casual Sunday menu vid. And uh, we'll get after it next week. If you guys want to plan on catching a stream next week, I'm going to be live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday, we're streaming for 10 hours for day one of Zero Chill, which is going to be a lot of fun. I'll post the exact times I plan on streaming down in the comments below. I'll pin that comment uh, in case any of you boys are interested. But enough with the Twitch promo. We're here for one thing and one thing only. Big Cock Dan Marino. 93-94. We got a 94 offense right now. That's kind of cracked. But um, so we made the switch to Dan Marino, right? We had Herbert for a little bit. And uh, in the beginning of last stream, you know, his release has kind of been selling a little bit. So we got Dan Marino. He's got, I'm pretty sure it's Slinger 1, the same one as Aaron Rodgers. Omaha as his X-Factor, Pass Lead Elite, and Hot Route Master on this card. He actually does get all 32 team chems, obviously. So he's going to get Niners chem for us and open up another slot in our lineup. But I mean, this card is pretty phenomenal. If I have any clips, I'll show them right now of his release. It's just so gorgeously gross. And then we did go ahead and sell Bo Jackson. Uh, I think they're going to increase his X-Factors AP. So I kind of wanted to sell him before they do that. But we got Roger Craig with backfield mismatch. Niner Chem, obviously. I think he's like 96 speed. And then LeGarrette Blunt handles all of our goal line work. But I'm really only running the ball probably like eight times a game max. Like we are really, we're really dialed in with the passing game. Some of this lineup update's a bit repetitive, but uh, I really want to exaggerate this and really, you know, make sure you guys understand that this player right here, Debo Samuel, is a is very important. You run matchup nightmare on him because he's gonna be running those deep posts for us. And you know, he does not draw passes if he gets hit right after with matchup nightmare. 5'11, 98 speed, 215 pounds, 96 jump, 86 deep route running. But honestly, this card shucks. Think there's gonna be a Jerry Rice upgrade in the zero chill promo somewhere. So he'll probably replace I don't know if he's gonna replace Randy or Debo, but uh Jerry Rice will probably get 98 speed with his new card. And uh, we're gonna have to figure out what we're doing there. Uh, I don't know if he was in the last video. We got Kyle Pitts. Uh, he's got double me and matchup nightmare on him, our tight end. We're running three matchup nightmares on the field. Matchup nightmare is definitely one of my favorite abilities in the game right now. He's 6'6", 94 speed with uh, 90 medium route running, 82 run block. We know we really don't block him at all, though. And uh, 93 catching traffic, which is important. He's catching a lot of our red zone corners. He's also catching corners when uh, our opponent comes out in like cover two or cover four. Pitts is usually my go-to guy, same with Charlie Young. And in ACU slot, we do have two tight ends on the field. And that ebook will be coming soon. It'll be free for you guys on the channel. And uh, I just got to make sure I find a couple more plays on Wednesday when I'll be labbing against some of you guys on Twitch. I feel like I've mentioned Twitch like 40 times in this video, but for real, stop over there if you haven't already. The streams have been really fun lately, guys. I can't thank you enough for stopping by and uh, showing some love. But Niners, 52 out of 50 right now. We're probably going to wait till Wednesday when the new season starts to start picking up cards and making upgrades because the market's probably going to drop a little bit. And uh, we do have edge protector on Joe Thomas and Trent Williams. We did go ahead and cop Joe Thomas the other day. And uh, I haven't really found any issues with that. I don't really need the AP on anyone else. So we're probably going to leave those edge protectors there just in case, you know, some dude pulls up with like double or nothing or unpredictable or El Toro or some crazy pass rush ability. It definitely is going to help to have those edge threats there. And then moving over to the defense, I mean, probably not going to be a super long gameplay. We did cop Pat Sertain. We really like tall DBs this year because, I mean, as it is right now, they're not catching picks. But uh, as long as you got a taller DB, he's going to at least get a hand on the ball and uh, break that up for you. We got Zone Hawk on this card and pick artists. I've been running him at safety. I don't necessarily know if I like him at safety, but he will be staying on the team until there's another tall corner added into the game. 6'2", 202 pounds, 96 speed with 96 man and zone, 95 press. And uh, I, I don't know if there's really any other important stats right here to show you guys. I might switch to 6'1 if I can figure it out on Wednesday, but... You know, my, my, I'm really like lacking a true defensive identity with this team, which I don't really like a lot. We've got this Montez Sweat right here, but like, but I might just go 6 1 and just, you know, put Sweat on the outside and just put under pressure on him or something like that and just let this man go crazy. Sweat's a unit though 6 6, 260, 93 speed, 95 finesse move, 93 block shit. Like, it doesn't get any better than that right now. And uh, I'm thinking about Cop and Ted Hendricks for my user. I've got a couple names listed here. We're probably going to look at uh, Adafe Owe as an edge rusher. We're also going to look at Anthony Barr if they give Reduxes soon which uh, I don't know when they plan on making reduxes, but Barr's definitely next up. As of today, we got a couple, we got one acrobat, a bunch of pick artists because they did buff that ability. Uh, the only the only true difference I've noticed with pick artists is this dude right here, Jason Verrett. I mean, he 
animates probably every game, maybe not every game, but like every other game, this dude will jump a route with pick artists and just like catch the ball through a receiver. Like he caught a ball through Keyshawn Johnson last night. It was crazy. If we do switch to 6-1 though, I don't know if Verrett's going to make the starting lineup because we're only going to have four DBs on the field. And uh, I think Dion and Sertain are better than Verrett. I mean, if he keeps animating how he has... I don't see how I can keep him off the field. And then uh, tucked away in the specialist tab, we have Vince Wilfork, Bruce Smith, and Derwin James. Uh, Derwin James is pick artist. Bruce Smith has unpredictable, and Vince Wilfork has inside stuff. Vince might be one of the MVPs of my defense, bro. He wreaks havoc with inside stuff. 6'2", 325 pounds, with 94 blocks, had 94 power move. He had a pick six last night, bro. I'm not shitting you guys. This dude intercepted a ball in the backfield and ran it in for six. Vince Wilfork, bro. And then you guys can check out my strategy cards right here. We are running alternate pistol. You can uh, buy this playbook in the auction house. It's like 5 to 10K. Bears defense right now might be switching, though. I'm not too sure yet. And then uh, we have two deep route specialists and two in the zone blue strat cards. We're sitting at 1.07 mil right now, which is not bad going into zero chill. We also got 57K training, which will be nice to roll on Friday. And speaking of Friday, I'll be live on Twitch on Friday for a 10 hour stream, celebrating hitting 1,000 followers on Twitch. Probably gonna start at like 3 p.m., roll all that training, and then uh, play a bunch of weekend league games. We'll probably go from like 3 to 1 a.m. So if you're chilling on Friday, stop by for a little bit, say what's up. Vibes will probably be immaculate. But I mean, that's pretty much it, dude. Ace, we're running Ace U slot. If I have clips, I'll throw them in there. You know, I'll splice them in. But but I guess I'll hit you guys with another lineup update next weekend because I'm probably going to change a lot on this defense. But I mean, this defense has got me to 11 and 3 in weekend league. We can check my record just to let you guys know that I'm not capping about that. And uh, I deadass almost beat this dude that's ranked like top 30 right now. I actually lost myself the game by throwing a stupid ball uh, that I thought I could fit in a tight window. You know, Jock's not the best at fitting in tight windows. But right here, 11 wins, 11 games to go. Sadly, won't be able to finish. You know, college exists and exams exist, unfortunately. And uh, I'll show you the dude we played. And uh, if you're in stream, you remember this. I think it was, yeah, TB Reese right here. This is the dude we played against, ranked 31 right now. Literally lost because I threw the most absurd read. Like, I don't know why I threw it. I just pressed a button because I'm an idiot. Still getting used to the offense, man. And, uh, you know, if we did finish Weekend League, I wouldn't doubt that uh, I could I could hit 19 wins and be right here with this dude. I'm, I'm actually being serious, too. Like, we're, we're playing pretty lights out. Probably the best Madden i played in my life right now. So, you know, Friday's definitely going to be exciting because I'll be able to crank out a bunch of Weekend League. And, uh, you know, that's the team. If you guys have any questions with theme teams... Oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might as well let you guys know what our schedule is for theme teams this week. Obviously... We get a new season on Wednesday, so that day's kind of up in the air with content, you know, depending on what we get. We have, I think next week, we're going to go Bengals theme team, Raiders theme team, Patriots theme team, and then uh, Washington theme team as well. So we got four theme teams lined up. We have a couple new theme teams lined up for the channel. That'll be exciting. And then uh, obviously Zero Chill on Friday, whoever gets one of the best cards will do their theme team as well. You know, like I said, stream schedule down in the comments for this week, uh, Father Jock on Twitch. The support has been really, really, really good lately, guys. I can't thank you enough. And you know, I got a week left of school, and after that, we're really gonna go all in, you know, streaming, uploading every single day for break. But overall, great vibes for the YouTube channel and the Twitch. We're pushing 2K on Twitch, and we're pushing 10K on YouTube, man. So if you guys have any questions about theme teams, or uh, players you can get, or what I do about the scheme and stuff like that, just let me know down in the comments. I respond to every single comment, or at least I try my best to. That's all I got for you guys. So that being said, Jock signing.